All right, music fans, welcome back. It is I, Dave, the Real Music Observer, doing what I do, observing real music in real time for real people just like you right there and just like me. So Jonathan Cain did an interview recently where he was in Tennessee talking like a Tennessean, saying, yeah, Perry came in and he gave us this line over here and Neil came in with this other thing on, you know, Neil wrote the bass part. And uh, so <laughs> that's what my friend said. He's like, notice how John Cain adapts a Southern accent. Well, you know, I've done this. I'm guilty. You know, you're around some people who uh, speak differently than you and being, you know, formally from New England, I can't be like, hey, man, park the car over there next to the burger joint and let's get out of here. You know, because if I start talking like that, people are going to say, whoa, uh, especially when I was in radio, I had to have that squeezed out of me. There was nobody on the air unless you had like a talk show in Boston who sounded like they were from Boston. It's just one of those things. So anyway, getting back to Mr. Kane, uh, he's being interviewed and the interview goes about 18 minutes or so. And I'm watching it, and he's basically giving all this credit to Steve Perry and some to Neil Sean, and even some to Steve Smith. <laughs> he didn't give anything to Ross. Poor Ross Valerie had nothing to do with this song. Um, Neil Sean did the whole entire bass line. Uh, he came in with the bass part. He wrote it. And then, you know, there, it, Steve's like, hey, John, give us some of that rolling piano thing at the beginning. And I don't know if Steve told him what notes to play. Uh, look, Steve Perry, drummer, bass player. Hence, that's why, you know, when Raised came along, Raised on Radio, and that whole debacle where he dismissed uh, Smith and Valerie, uh, Steve knew music. He, he arranged and he produced and he wrote Don't Stop Believing." The only part, really, that came sort of cops to is yeah i had on a notepad i had um don't stop believing hold on to that feeling that's what he had and then when he sat down with perry perry is coming up with all this imagery about the train and and then neil hey neil can you play your guitar like that train that ch -ch 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 sound that builds up and builds up again steve perry doing the arranging of the song the interview was really interesting to me because Kane, he's got a book coming out in May. And since last year at some point where on his Twitter page at one point it said, Jonathan Kane, the guy who wrote Don't Stop Believing." It just said the guy who wrote. And then he finally changed it to the guy who co-wrote Don't Stop Believing," which if you look at the order of the song... I think it on the original 45, and I posted it, I think Kane's name is either second or it's last, all right? I think it's Perry Sean Kane, all right? It might be Perry Kane Sean, but Neil Sean had a lot to do with the song, too. I mean, the bass part, the guitar parts, uh, maybe not lyrically, Kane and Perry probably collaborated on most of the lyrics, but it sounds as though... Perry was just a writing machine once Kane gave him, hey, don't stop believing. I mean, it kind of sounds like a Toyota commercial a little bit without all that other good stuff in there. I mean, hold on to that feeling and, you know, it's fine. I, I know Perry used to write jingles if you followed his career. Uh, Lights was actually supposed to be like for a TV newscast and then they took it and rearranged it and so forth. Uh, but the point being is Kane pretty much cops to the fact that both Perry and Sean probably had a little more to do with Don't Stop Believing than Jonathan Kane uh, had to do with it. And it's weird because you've got the book, you've got this whole title of the book, and to me, mm, I don't know, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't be brash enough to throw that out and say, yeah, this is what I did. Because I know the book will probably give credit, like this interview gives credit to everybody. But just by putting that title on the book, you're more or less saying, hey, this is me. 
this is what I did, these other guys helped me do that, where it's more like the other guys did this and you helped them a little bit. And I think that's pretty much uh, the truth about it. And even Jonathan Cain in the interview uh, says it in so many words. So that's, uh, that's my video here. It just seems as though <laughs> Jonathan Cain didn't have quite as much to do with Don't Stop Believing as I think in recent times he's kind of let us think, whether it was through a Christian talk show, which, you know, God gave him this song and so forth. Let's be clear. This is Steve Perry arranging, producing, pointing, directing, holding that, by the way, holding that bridge and chorus, that's all Steve Perry. That momentous part of the song where you finally get to the bridge and the chorus where it's like three minutes and 20 seconds or whatever later, that's all Steve Perry's idea. So I'm telling you, the tension in the song, it's all Perry. Perry, Sean, Kane in that order. That's the way I see it. All right, I'm done. I'm Dave. I'll be back with more real music in real time for real people just like you right there. And just like me, we'll do it again real soon. Talk to you then.